Hello everybody and welcome back to the journey. As you can see, I am inside and I do apologize for that. I did do the full video outside and the wind was so bad that it just ruined the audio. And I'll even let you hear some of it. Take a gander. Hello everybody and welcome back to the journey. A bit of a robotic voice. As you can see, I found another location. This is a local university to where I live. They have a very nice setting out here with some ponds and fountains. Very peaceful. The sound like that was in and out throughout the whole video every time the wind would blow. And I knew something like that was possibly going to happen because of the overcast and the wind was starting to pick up. So I had a feeling it was going to, and so it did. So I had to come inside and we're just going to have to do the video in here. I do apologize for not getting the outdoor scenery for you, but I'll tell you what I can do. And that's how I can overlay that into the background and then I can just talk to you like this. So over the course of the last week, things have been quite exciting is all I can say. Anticipation of the coin show has been the highlight of my week. And as I'm pretty sure most of you have seen the video from the coin show, that uh, it was quite the event. A lot of things there, a lot of people there. And uh, overwhelming is, uh, is an understatement. <laughs> but let's start on uh, last Friday. Right, actually, let's go all the way back to last Wednesday. Um, last Wednesday, I did get a phone call in the evening from my nephew. Um, he does work for us, and uh, he called me that evening to let me know that change was needed for the cash register. And I was going to that store the next day, and so I was going to need to pick some up. And that is how I got the coins, those four rolls of quarters, from my video that I did the, the coin roll hunt the other day. So yeah. I left that morning, went and got the change I needed, and of course that gave me the rolls to do that video, and it turned out to be quite the set of rolls. Uh, you know, seven coins for the books, and then three for the flips. So, yeah, that was quite a lucrative set of rolls. Um, I did do a full video on that, and if you're interested, I will have a link to that video in the description below. On the following day, which would be that Friday, I knew things were going to be tight for me. Um, I had to get things ready for the trip on Saturday and I knew that I was not going to be able to go to Liberty Coins as I usually do on Saturday. And so I went first thing in the morning. Um, now I know he doesn't open until 9 a.m. so I had to wait a little bit for him. Um, so I just went ahead and stopped and had breakfast and then I headed over to his shop. I pretty much got there about the same time that he did. I got out of the car and said hello as he was getting out of his. And he looks at me, smiles, and says, Well, is it Saturday already? So, of course, you know, he just gave a little giggle, and we both went inside. I did explain to him that I did have the coin show the following day, and that I didn't want to wait for another week to pick up the, um, the item that I had put the deposit on. And he says, Well, it wouldn't have been one week, it would have been two more weeks. Because next week, he was going to be in Nags Head for the weekend with his family. So, it was a good thing that I did make the stop that morning. And so, I gave him the, the $180 that I still owed him as a deposit, and I did pick up this bar. It is a Silvertown bar, and as you can see, it is heavily toned. The serial number, I do believe, is kind of on the lower side of things. I have seen them in the hundreds of thousands. So, if you're into uh, low serial numbers, uh, maybe this is one. I have no idea. But I did give him $28 an ounce for this, um, and that was two weeks ago. And of course, I picked it up, and sadly, the price has gone down, so I could have gotten a little bit better price, but that's okay. Um, it is toned because, as you can see, it's still in the original packaging, but there is a tear in the package right there. And of course, so that's how the air got in and has let it tone. But either way, I am glad to have it. My very first 10 ounce bar. And if you've been keeping up with my stuff here lately, I actually have bought several bars, so a bunch more of the vintage stuff, a little more tone stuff, and I'm trying to, you know, add a little more, add a little bit more variety to the stack. And so I've decided, yes, I definitely need to be picking up a little bit more. Um, and so I did that again. Um, later on that afternoon, I stopped by Candle Coin and Stamps, and uh, she had a pretty good selection of things in there. Um, a lot of the higher premium stuff like ASEs and Libertads, 
had a few other things, um, had some 2022 maples, um, but she did have a good selection of the Morgan bars again. And so I picked up another one. And I did only pick up the one as I was trying to keep my finances for the trip to the coin show the following day. So of course I put it in a capsule and here it is, nice and shiny for all of you to see. So that gives me two of those bars into the stack. While I was there, another gentleman was actually looking at the silver as well, and he bought 20-some American Silver Eagles. And so we had a little conversation uh, for maybe about 15 minutes. It was a great conversation. It was a really nice gentleman, and I do look forward to seeing him there again. But after the visit was over, I headed on over to Silver Eagles. And I'm sure many of you have seen on the little short video I put out, they were closed. There was a sign on the door saying that they had closed early for an emergency and they would be available the next day. Well, of course, I was going to be at the coin show. So needless to say, I did not get any more silver before the coin show. So if you look at it in that regards, I had bought the 10 ounce and the one ounce. And that's all I picked up, two pieces. But hey, 10 ounces is 10 ounces. But I finished out my day at work. Everything was quite smooth. It was the last day of work before my boss was leaving the country for their summer vacation. So I had many other things I had to take care of, setting up um, delivery routes and things like that for while they were gone, I was gonna be handling some of their uh, normal workload. And so I finished out the rest of the day doing that and then I went home. Later on that evening, I did call my son and we got things squared away for time frames for him to be at my house the following morning for the coin show. My daughter was staying with me, so we already had that covered, and my nephew was going to drive himself. So all that was easily worked uh, worked out, and we all crashed and got up the next morning. Quite a bit on the early side. Um, I did find out the day before from Chuck Stacks that there was going to be more than one show going on. The big flea market was going to be going on. The coin show was going to be going on. There was also a collector's show and a gun show. And so we had the worry of parking. And so I left about two hours earlier than I needed to just to make sure I was going to be able to get some decent parking. And did we ever. When we got there, I literally was able to park pretty much right at the door of the show. So that was pretty cool. But on the side, we were there way early. So we went ahead and walked around the flea market. We spent, uh, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half doing that and look at all the things that were going on out there, all the different vendors, all the different things that was available. It was pretty cool. Um, but of course, we were there for that coin show. So after a little while of walking around, we went back to the car just to hang out for the last 30 minutes or so and wait for the coin show to open. And not long before the doors opened, I did get a message from Silver and Gold Stack Attack. And he did uh, make me aware that he was there. He had just got there and he had walked in and was waiting in line. And so we all went inside and I did find him. So we had our greetings, we filled out our paperwork and right pretty much when we got finished, they opened the doors and let us in. We were in there no more than a couple minutes when Chuck Stacks arrived. And so we all started to have our conversation of how we were gonna do everything. And while we were conversing, my daughter and my son and my nephew went on ahead and started looking around. Well, my daughter came coming back to me, holding up in her hands, this little bag and saying happy father's day and so she had went and found this it is a 10 ounce copper bar very well handcrafted quite the piece and she had found this at a gentleman's table and when he when when my daughter handed this to me Silver and Gold Stack Attack asked her, where did you get that from? I have been looking for that gentleman for quite some time. Um, he had thought that he had gone out of business. And well, turns out he had not gone out of business. He uh, had closed up business for a little while, but he was back at it full swing. So we all went over to that table to take a gander and see what all he had. Here's a little bit of footage from that table so you can see some of the stuff that he had available. And they had a pretty good conversation. Chuck Stacks talked with him for a little bit. And I did some eavesdropping while I was filming. 
It was very awesome of him to allow me to do some filming, and I do thank him for it. Overall, we spent the better part of two to two and a half hours walking around inside the show. Uh, walking around inside the show. So much to see and so much to keep up with that I had completely forgot to do any filming. But we did get to see a marvelous amount of different things in there. Things I had never thought about seeing before. It was quite the experience and I do look forward to doing it again. But uh, when we were just about finished, uh, walking around pretty much near the last table, um, I did finally buy an item. And that was this silver town. A little poker chip style. Chuck Stax had picked one up and I saw it and I just had to have one. It's actually a great looking little piece. And I've had poker chips on my brain ever since the other day when Mellow Stax did his video showing his new poker chips. So that's pretty cool. But this was 30, which yeah, it's kind of a little bit on the high side, but I definitely wanted one, so I did grab it. So that's only two items so far. Well, my budget that I was trying to stick around was around $300 for the trip. Well, for the show itself. And when we had first started looking around, there was one table near the beginning that had a large number of 10 ounce bars for $26 an ounce. And I did tell her I was gonna look around, but I did plan on coming back to get one. And that's exactly what I did. I did make my way back to her table and she still had plenty of them left. And this is the bar. It is, like I said, a 10 ounce bar. And it was $26 total. It was not in the capsule. It was in the original packaging, which is an oversized soft plasticky material. Um, so I cut it out to put it into, into one of these capsules. But the bad part is, this is supposed to be an airtight capsule. But it is definitely not. I ordered it from Airtight on Amazon, and this is what I received. So I've already scheduled to send these back. I knew there was a problem as soon as it came in this, instead of usually separated like you usually get your Airtights. So this is definitely going back, and I am going to be reordering some other ones, and hopefully I can get it soon. Because I really don't want this to start toning. I do like my shiny silver. But here's the other side. It does have the snake on there. 10 troy ounces and if I remember correctly this is made in Texas so that's pretty cool so there you go so that's the silver that I picked up after everything was all said and done we all got together for lunch and had great conversation and then we decided it was time to part ways we all gave each other farewells and everyone headed their own way well as I said before, I was so overwhelmed by watching everything and looking at everything at the show, I forgot to film. So my daughter and I actually decided to go back to the show to get some footage for all of you. And that is the footage that was in the video I put out the other day. And while I was there, getting that last footage, one of the tables actually had this. And this is not a silver coin, it is a clad. But I am a sucker for... The, the legend of King Arthur and things like that. And this is one of the Merlin coins. And this is a coin. And I saw it and I was like, yep, I'm going to go ahead and take that home. I know it's not silver. And at $25, I should have most likely probably just gotten myself another piece of silver. But I do want to get this whole set. So I was happy to get it regardless of the price. And we'll just set this guy right up here. But that's it. That's what I picked up at the show and anywhere else throughout the course of the week. It was only four pieces plus the gift from my daughter. But those four pieces equal 22 ounces of silver. So it's the largest silver purchase over the course of a week that I've had since I started. So to me, it was all in all, it was a success. There actually is another coin show coming up next month in Rocky Mount. And we're all planning on getting back together for that show as well. And so I'm looking forward to it. But that was it for Saturday. We did the show and then we made the long drive home. On Sunday, I was quite tired. I didn't really feel like going to work, but I needed to. I had inventory to do to get things prepped for the following day. 
And so I did that, but it was later on in the day. I did all the inventory, moved a few things from store to store, but uh, it was just a pretty slow day, pretty relaxing day, and I was perfectly fine with that. And that's pretty much it. Um, Monday and Tuesday were just a couple of slow days of going to work, nothing special. Um, I didn't have anything happen that was really noteworthy, so um, that's pretty much how my week went. But like I said, 22 ounces for the first time over the course of a week, that's a great week in my book. And if you do like this video, remember to like and subscribe and comment down below and let me know what you think. I will also have links in the description for that coin roll hunt. Um, it was only a four roll hunt, but it still came out to be a wonderful little hunt. And also a link to the video from the coin show if you'd like to see some of the things that we, that, uh, we saw there as well. But thank you for following along and uh, taking a few minutes out of your day to watch this video with me. And as always, I thank you for following along on my silver journey. God bless.